Okay, so I've gotten a variable flood of requests uh, to comment on the Insomniac situation, which at this point, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know what's going on, as terrible as it is. So I'm sort of just offering my two cents, tossing it into the cauldron of public opinion that's already been formed largely. But to just quickly go through what happened, it seems that a group of hackers somehow got access to a lot of information from Insomniac, roughly a terabyte of information and data from an internal company server that held not just like in progress game development footage and assets and stuff like that, but also private employee information like driver's licenses, mailing addresses, bank account information, potentially passport information, crazy numbers of personal assets, not just related to the video game that we're you know, talking about with Wolverine and everything, but actual employee information. And they got access to this and they went to Sony slash PlayStation and uh, basically held it for ransom, said, you're going to pay us. I believe it was 50 Bitcoin, which translates roughly to about $2 million, I think. And they said, you pay us this or we leak all of this stuff publicly. PlayStation said, no, we don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't do this. So uh, no, we're not giving you any money. And the hackers said, okay, fine. And then they dropped all of this stuff publicly. I don't know where, I don't know exactly when that happened, but it seems like in the last 24 hours or so is when all of this happened. And my, my stance is that this is horrible. Like this, I know we are video game fans and it can be fun to talk about leaks when it's like, ooh, a listing on walmart.com shows that this game might come out this month in three years. Oh, that's interesting. Like we like to talk about that stuff, but this is in another, not just category, this is on another planet, okay? Like we are talking about an extreme invasion and, and like crossing the line of what is considered reasonable for acquiring information on something that you might be interested in. And what was being done here is like, this is an illegal acquisition of a company's private information that they have to you know protect uh, because it contains employee information and it contains future projects that shareholders have vested interest in. And these hackers have acquired it and then they are holding it for ransom, basically blackmailing a company, which shocker is illegal. And, uh, when they didn't get what they wanted, they released it publicly. And that that's why like people who do this type of thing usually go to jail. Like this, this is not something you can just do and get away with. It is an actual crime. And I don't think we should make light of that. I mean, I, I don't think you should ignore that. That's why I, partly at least why I'm not showing pictures or videos or clips or linking stuff in this video for a handful of reasons. I mean, for one, it's not my content to share. I know this might be shocking, but just because content drops online does not mean that everybody has a right to share it and distribute it, especially when you have a, a platform and an audience like I am very fortunate to have. So it's not my place to share. Um, and it's not my content to share, even though it's leaked, like it's not my place. And secondly, like it's not constructive. If you, which I, I heavily don't recommend that you do, but if you were to look or have these things shared with you on your For You page on TikTok or or X or Twitter, or whatever, you're not actually getting anything from seeing this information or acquiring it into your, your brain cavity. You know, like there's nothing that you'll actually gain from it. You'll see some early work in progress stuff for games that are years and years and years away. And that's about it. Like you're not actually acquiring anything useful. You know, there's been leaks of games over the last decade or two decades where we've seen very early work in progress footage for games that eventually released. And when we've seen those early work in progress clips, it almost never matches what the end game is actually able to deliver. The end game is almost always way, way, way better than that early pre alpha footage we saw. Just like with those GTA six leaks that happened like a year ago, the trailer we ended up getting blows all of those clips out of the water because they were development footage. You can't judge a final product based off of like early game tests and builds that they were doing years and years ahead of time. So I don't think it's useful to look at this stuff. And a lot of people I saw in some of these questions when people were asking me to comment, they're like, do you think that they're just going to cancel Wolverine? Do you think they're going to cancel their plans for all of these other games? Do you think they're just going to walk away? Do you think Insomniac is shutting down? Like, 
No, no. A, a handful of reasons. For one, why should they? Two, the vast majority of players, um, and this might be surprising, but the vast majority of players who tend to engage, especially with console games uh, that are sharing large IP licenses like Spider-Man or Wolverine or anything Marvel related, the, the majority of players are not actually watching videos like this. You know, if this video does 100,000 views or 200,000, whatever it does, that is a, still a very small niche of the however many millions upon millions of players will probably end up actually buying the game and playing it. So even though these leaks have happened, I think the vast majority of players that eventually buy and play Wolverine are going to still enjoy it, still have an amazing time with it, because I'm sure it's going to be great. Insomniac is an incredibly talented team of developers. So I don't think it's actually going to affect the end product. I don't I don't think it's actually going to have that big of an impact. Just like with The Last of Us Part Two, there were story leaks, there were things that dropped for that game ahead of time, and it didn't really impact the uh, amount of, uh, I guess, uh, how impressed a lot of people were with the game. When they ended up getting their hands on it, many people were just as impressed. Granted, a lot of people threw fits about it, but sort of beside the point. It still, uh, for a very long time, was the most, I think it might still be, but for at least many years or a handful of years, it was the most awarded game uh, of all time. I mean, it just broke all sorts of records. So this is not the end all be all. I mean, it really uh, sucks and I feel for the employees and I wish there were something I could do to help them, as I'm sure many of you do, but there's just not not much we can. Like, it just sucks. The only thing you can do is to just not engage with it, try to uh, call out creators or publications that are distributing this information, because there have been a number of large publications that have just straight up shown footage. They've shared links to the original sourcing of the material, including like some severe... Um, let's just say large files that are very sensitive for Insomniac. They've just openly distributed screen caps and story elements and things that have leaked, which I find incredibly irresponsible. I find it disdainful. I find it distasteful. And I think it loses sight of a certain level of, I don't know, maybe dignity is the word. I don't even know how to phrase it, but I just feel like we should be able to call out these hackers for what they are and what they're doing, which is they're committing a criminal act against not just a big corporation, but also against those individuals, those individual developers who didn't do anything. They had no say in whether Sony paid the $2 million ransom. They just went to work and were trying to provide a life for their families while working in a really cool industry. And now they have to worry with their mailing addresses, their private information shared and leaked, potentially their bank information. I saw one, uh, previous team member at Insomniac on Twitter was saying that they had a bunch of alerts today pop up for like on Credit Karma, you know how sometimes it tracks your your uh, like security, maybe it wasn't Credit Karma, but whatever those apps are that track your, your personal security, if they sense that your identity might have been stolen, they had a bunch of alerts go off today. Because all of a sudden, all of their private information that, you know, if they set up direct deposit to be paid, all of a sudden, all of their banking information has been leaked. So now they have to go get new bank accounts and stuff and hope something doesn't happen in the meantime. It's just crazy. Like, it's just insane. And I think, like, at this point, everybody who's going to hear about it has heard about it. I would just ask that we try to handle it a little bit more maturely <laughs> than perhaps some have handled it to just... Uh, acknowledge that this is horrible and it sucks, that it's not the end-all be-all. It's not going to spoil anything. Like It's not going to spoil Wolverine or any of these other projects. They're still going to be just as good as they were before. And we really try to show compassion and empathy for the members at Insomniac who have been working their asses off for years on these games. They have roadmaps you know, going out years and years and years. And a lot of that work has been shown off well ahead of time, well ahead of when they wanted to share it publicly. And there's a lot of creators out there that are just making YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video and stream after stream after stream and TikTok after TikTok after TikTok, sharing it publicly. And I think that that's just, I think we should be better than that. Like this industry is not as naive and immature as it once was. I would say the vast majority of the, the gaming industry and community at this point are of age adults and are able to have like informed 
decisions when it comes to these types of things and they understand that this is not all fun and games for the sake of quick clicks and engagement on on TikTok and stuff and uh, I just think we should do better than distributing this stuff um, you know it's all fun and games until it happens to you and I I think we should just not tolerate it and I would like to live in a world at least where we could all come together and just be like yeah, I, I heard about the leaks. I heard about the Insomniac stuff. I'm not looking it up. I'm not watching the videos. I'm not sharing the videos. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to go about my business. I'm going to ignore it. And in a few months, it will be kind of forgotten. And you can still find it if you dig for it. But a lot of people will have just moved on. And in however many months or years when we actually hear about this stuff officially, it's going to be uh, hopefully a distant memory. And we can enjoy the work of these very talented people afresh without this sort of albatross around its neck because it it's just it's just terrible. I mean, I I don't plan on sharing any of this stuff. I don't plan on making any other videos. The reason I'm talking about this here is because I want to share my thoughts that I think we should not go into specifics. You know, everybody's aware of this happening. I think we can acknowledge that it happened and how horrible it is. Um but we can do that while not distributing and spreading more of this harm if we can help it. So I'm not going to go into any of that. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it on stream. Uh, I'm sure like today when this video goes up, there's going to be a lot of people that are asking about it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people wanting to discuss it. I will affirm to you guys that I will be trying to be as aggressive with comment moderation on this video and on our live streams and live stream clips over on the second channel as much as I can. But if people start spamming stuff, I mean, there's only so much I can do other than like banning the term Wolverine or something like that or insomniac, but then everybody just puts a space in the word and all of a sudden it's not automatically flagged anymore. So just be cautious in the comment section be careful um, and send some love to the insomniac guys because this right before the holidays I mean this has got to just absolutely suck and I I feel for him it's just a, a terrible situation and I know it's easy to just be like oh well it's fun it's just video games we're just Mimi but it's not you know it's not the the GTA 6 leaks were of early access builds and stuff while they were developing it but as far as I'm aware, and maybe I'm mistaken on this, but as far as I'm aware, there weren't like employees information leaked in that too. It was just like gameplay clips and stuff from a Slack channel. In this case, this is actual sensitive information of employees mixed in with all this other sensational stuff. And when you distribute the sensational stuff, you're also in turn causing the spread of that personal stuff. And all of that you know set aside it also just doesn't give you anything you're looking at early access builds and information that could be totally out of date by the time you get to actually play the game and it certainly is not representative of the final product so i just don't think there's much point in delving into it so i'm not going to so and for those of you that were asking if i'm going to do like a deep dive look at all the leaks and everything we found out about wolverine no no i'm not doing that and i would encourage you if you see other creators that are doing that, that you just uh, perhaps try to remind them that this is not what our industry should be trying to do. We should be probably a little bit bigger than that. And we should try to respect the creative agency of these developers. Uh, we should try to respect the privacy of the developers and the creators and artists that make these games. And we should not just chase clicks at the expense of the security and privacy of the people that make this industry a reality. Um, but with that, I'm going to stop rambling because I could keep going because this, as somebody that just dealt with a swatting where I had private information acquired somehow and, um, you know, as somebody that's dealt with this type of thing a lot in the last few months, some publicly, some not publicly, I'm I'm sensitive about this issue and I uh, really, really feel for the devs and I wish them the absolute best and uh, it's just a terrible situation. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. But with all that said, thank you for watching, I guess. Uh, it's a weird video, not really an uplifting one or a fun one like we normally try to do. So sorry about that, but I'm going to go try that new VR 
game that just came out. Shout out to Meta for hooking me up with like a, a Quest 3. This was awesome. So shout out to Meta. I'm going to try the new Asgard game that's apparently really good and just get back to playing video games that are actually released because the devs actually finished them. And uh, I'm going to stop talking about stuff that is not relevant because it's still years and years out and it was never supposed to release to be released in the first place. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching everybody. I love you all dearly and I'll see you in the next video or over on the live streams. I'm streaming when this video goes live. So pop over links in the description. If you want to ask questions or come hang out, I would love to see you. Thanks for watching. I love you all. See you soon. Bye.